Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. You know what? It's kind of funny, man. Since it's been looking like the last week that Josie Smollett lied about being attacked. It's funny. You ain't heard none of these, you know, uh, you know, basically pro gay, pro free life or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Organizations have came out and, and condemned him or just said anything. It's funny. They ain't nowhere to be found. Where's glad? Where's, you know, the LGBT, you know what I'm saying? Where they at? It's funny. They ain't nowhere to be found. But yet just last year, they were harassing genuine when a transgender woman tried to kiss him on the lips and he didn't want to be kissed. And they called it transphobic and they, they make up these fake names. And then Black Panther came out. They tried to basically say, hey, well, where's the gay characters at? They don't have to be no gay characters. Now, keep in mind, they feel like gay characters should be in Black Panther, but they ain't talked about gay characters being in Batman. They never brought it up with Aquaman. They never brought it up with Wonder Woman. They never brought it up with all the, you know, the Marvel movies that starred, uh, you know, white actors. But they figure Black Panther that has a predominantly black cast, they figure that they can just bully, you know, the makers of Black Panther and bully, uh, you know, uh, Ryan Coogler. See, they pick and choose their spots, just like the fake ass Me Too movement. You know, who basically hijacked that from a black woman. These organizations are fake. Me Too is nothing more than a secret female white supremacist hate group towards and particularly black men, because most of the men that they target are black men. You know, they use Harvey Weinstein as a smokescreen, but then after Harvey Weinstein, they continue to, you know, focus on black celebrities, you know, Chris Brown, R. Kelly, all them people. You know what I'm saying? But never mind Ben Affleck's brother. You know, never mind Ben Affleck himself. Never mind Sean Penn. Never mind, you know, Emil Hirsch. So, I mean, I'm just saying, never mind those dudes, Nicolas Cage. Never mind Mark Wahlberg. So, I'm, I'm, I'm just keeping it funky. They ain't nowhere to be found. But these motherfuckers always trying to harass and bully black people. Now, once again, I don't have nothing against gay people or transgender people. My thing is, if you cool, you cool. If you not, you not. The same way, I don't have nothing against... You know what I'm saying? White people. The white people that I'll talk about is the racist, hateful white people. And the same thing with other nationalities. The same way I, ha I, I have an issue with black people, coons, that go out of their way to try to get acceptance from, in particularly, white people and other races. Okay? Them the people that I have issues with. As I said before, if you cool, you cool. If you not, you not. And I'm going to let it be known. If I got an issue with you, I'm going to let it be known. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what your se sexual preference is. But let's just let, let's just keep it a buck, though. Those organizations, like I say, always try to target, in particularly, black men. And a lot of times, in some cases, you have black women working alongside of these organizations to help go after black men because they feel like they can get something out of it, which is notoriety and a little bit of power, a little bit of juice. I'm just keeping it 100. But like I said, these motherfuckers ain't nowhere to be found since this, uh, since this shit with Josie Smollett didn't happen. It's looking like the dude is a liar. And like I said before, this dude just committed career suicide. If it turns out he lied, he should be ran off. He should be fired from Empire. He should be ran off of TV. He should never work again. Real talk. Because like I said, this man endangered the lives of black people. Us. Due to the fact that he said he got attacked by a, a, a racist uh, white supremacist group. So now, like I said... This is going to open up the floodgate for these motherfuckers to start harassing and fucking with us. But I'm going to make it be known. And y'all can take this video however you want. Won't be me.
Won't be me. Because my, my model is take as many with you as you can. So if I go, three of y'all going alongside with me. So you, let, I'm just letting it be known. But real talk. All these fake organizations ain't nowhere to be found. You know what I'm saying? The inconsistency. But enough said. I'm out.